Good afternoon and apologies for the slightly late start due to circumstances beyond our control. The first item of business today is a member's business debate on motion number 14515 in the name of Alison McInnes on Gary a Home Start celebrates 20 years. This debate will be concluded without any questions being put and I would be grateful if those members who wish to speak in the debate would press the request to speak buttons as soon as possible. However, I would like members to note at the beginning we are rather tight for time. I call on Alison McInnes to open the debate. Seven minutes, please. Deputy Presiding Officer. Firstly, I would like to thank the members who have signed my motion congratulating Geary Home Start on its 20th anniversary. I'm most, I'm most grateful. Geary is an area in Aberdeenshire, centred around the town of Inverurie. The area has a lot of young families, many settled in the area from other ears and pairs. Not everyone has the extended network of family and friends that was more prevalent in earlier decades. The Home Start movement was created in 1973 in Leicester when Margaret Harrison decided to set up a small pilot project. Explaining her decision to set up Home Start, she said, when my, three young children were, when my three children were young, I was involved in voluntary work with parents and children here in Leicester, in children's homes, with the family service unit, mother and toddler groups, and the child guidance clinic, as it was then. Invariably, parents, many of whom were involved with social workers and other statutory agencies, would ask me to visit them at home so that we could really talk. So an idea was born in 1973, and the idea was simple, that volunteers go into a family's home to offer friendly, non-judgmental support, support that stems from their own experience. It proved to be a great help, and this is still the selling point and the strength of home start schemes, including the one in Geary. Margaret Harrison died earlier this year, but she's left a lasting legacy. Her small project in Leicester has grown, and it has now spread to 22 countries, the UK alone has 288 Home Start organisations, and it is estimated that the Home Start movement has helped more than a million children globally. In Geary alone, it, in its 20 years, it's estimated that Home Start's volunteers have helped 993 families with 2,122 children. Volunteers have spent an estimated 106,000 hours assisting these families, both in the long and the short term, and that's an enormous achievement. And it shows real enthusiasm for the aims and values of the organisation by its staff and volunteers, all of whom rec deserve recognition. But let me name four people especially. Sandra Herbert, who was the first ever chairperson of the organisation in the Geary. Claire Smith, who has been a volunteer from the very beginning. She's the only remaining volunteer and she re who received her training at the very first preparation course ever organised. Angela Gowdy has also been involved for some time and she first became a volunteer in 1996 and has been on the organisation's board of trustees. And special mention also goes to Valerie Tennant. She's the only original member of staff who is still with Homestart in Geary. Homestart aims to support families with children from their birth to age five. And we all agree that early years matter and that GERFEC approach is the right one. The five years between birth and school are vital for a child's development. Giving children the best possible start in life is vital. It determines the opportunities and life chances children have. Children who are raised in a stable and loving environment are more likely to have a positive and healthy future. And this is something every child deserves. Some might ask why Home Start's voluntary type of support is so important when we have midwives, health visitors, GPs, nurseries and playgroups and a host of other professionals. But the answer is fairly simple. Truth be told, being a parent isn't easy as many of us here can personally testify. It's a role that is so important, but there's no training and children don't come with an instruction manual. Parenting can be overwhelming. And in, if you add in other pressures that we sometimes face in life, financial difficulties, ill health, isolation, stress, parents can sometimes struggle to cope. And a young child caught up in that can miss out on the love, routine and stimulation that are so vital for their future. Often people don't like to ask for help from professionals, and that's where volunteers can step in, offering one-to-one -one support and building rapport and trust. Many new parents lack confidence. Home Start volunteers help by spending a couple of hours a week with them, providing that non-judgmental, practical and emotional support, helping to build confidence and family resilience. Volunteers are carefully matched with families, and, and what help they offer is tailored to the individual family. It might be just someone to talk things through with, 
or it might be practical help, such as how to plan healthy eating, on playing and reading with children, or even how to cope with sleepless nights. Lessons that children learn at this early age will follow them for the rest of their lives. This is the time when children develop their personalities, learn to express themselves and gain self-control, skills that will ensure they can achieve their full potential. A UK Department for Children's Schools and Families study in 2008 suggested that the home learning environment in the early years is the largest factor in attainment and achievement at age 10, bigger even than the effect of preschool and primary school. Similarly, the Millennium Cohort Study provided evidence of significant inequalities in development at age three that can persist throughout life. It is therefore important to support parents in providing a stimulating and supportive home environment. There are plenty of good reasons to value the work that Home Start does. Geary Home Start tells me it plans to be around for another 20 years at least. It is making plans to improve the services it offers to parents and grow further. In cooperation with other Home Start organisations in Aberdeenshire, it has secured core funding until June 2017 from the local authority. Geary Home Start is expanding its expertise, with two of its now 50 volunteers trained to deliver the Mellow Bumps training programme, which will focus on vulnerable expectant mums. It also plans to offer drop-in support or play sessions during the school holidays. And finally, it is equipping itself to offer Triple P, positive parenting programme, which is designed to prevent as well as treat behavioural and emotional problems in children. It aims to equip pa parents with the skills and confidence they need to be self-sufficient and to be able to manage family issues without ongoing support. I hope you will all join me in congratulating Geary Home Start for their vision. And in closing, I would like to thank the staff and volunteers at Geary Home Start, as well as other Home Start organisations, for the support they provide to so many families and children. Their expertise is invaluable and their work is crucial. Thank you. Many thanks. We now turn to the open debate. Speeches of four minutes, please. David Torrance to be followed by Lewis MacDonald. Thank you, President Officer. I would like to congratulate Alice McInnes for bringing this debate to Parliament today. I agree with my colleague that Homestar offers a valuable service to families, not only in Geary, but in 32 communities across Scotland. Its impact is crucial on many vulnerable and marginalised groups, including lone parents and families with a parent in prison. However, it also offers advice to step foster and adoptive parents, as well as to grandparents who care for their grandchildren. Homestart's model of providing services has many benefits to local communities. Most importantly, it contributes to creating a happier and safer home, but the organisation also strengthens community engagement and cohesion by delivering services locally through volunteers. In Scotland, more than, 100, more than 1,000 Homestart volunteers support around 2,000 families. I believe that Aguirre Homestart is excellently for organisational work. As this November, Homestart Geary celebrates its 20th anniversary. I would like to congratulate Geary Homestart on this occasion. In the past two decades, volunteers and staff members have assisted many young families with needs. Overall, the organisation has supported 993 families with 2,122 children. However, Aguirre Homestart would not be able to provide its services without the dedication and commitment of many of its volunteers. Today, I'd like to take this opportunity and thank volunteers in all the local home start branches across Scotland. It is truly incredible how much time and effort people dedicate to help those less fortunate. Volunteers are expected to have a parenting experience. Nonetheless, they receive additional comprehensive training, which includes issues on child protection, the role of health, visitor and confidentiality. After training, each participant is marched with a family, with a volunteer then visits for several hours a week. The task each volunteer takes on is differently greatly, uh, differs greatly, from looking after children to keeping parents company over a cup of tea. Home Start has also been a vital part of community life in my constituency of Kirkcaldy. In their own words, Home Start Kirkcaldy offers support, friendship, practical help to parents with young children in Kinghorn, Kirkcaldy, Burnt Island and Carnden. Recently, Home Start Kirkcaldy celebrated its 21st anniversary. Founded in 1994, the organisation has supported around 800 families in the area, yet its work is as vital today as it has ever been, especially when we think about UK Government's welfare cuts. 
At the moment, 38 home staff Kirkcaldy volunteers offer their time to help, up, help out families in need. The volunteers also support the creche, which is available two days a week. It offers a friendly, safe environment for children to learn through play experiences and have fun, whilst their parents get a little break. These services can have a real difference, and much has been achieved, but we cannot neglect that there are many prevailing issues affecting families. As my colleagues will be aware, Kirkcaldy has area has a high rate of teenage mothers. Teenage mothers are often disadvantaged and face many burdens in raising their child. They are less likely to complete their education or to seek further educational opportunities. And as a result, teenage mothers are more likely to be in receipt of some form of income-based benefit or employed in low-paid jobs. Another major issue affect affecting families is child poverty. The sad reality today is one in four children in Kirkcaldy grow up in poverty. In Scotland, 50,000 children live in cold homes in winter because their parents cannot afford heating costs. I believe that Home Starts Work, and especially its home visiting scheme, has successfully addressed some of the aspects of these problems. Feeling supported regardless of one's circumstances can make an incredible difference by boosting parents' confidence as well as keeping up with daily challenges. In conclusion, President Officer, I would like to commend not only Garrick Homestart and Homestart Kirkcaldy, but also other 30 branches in Scotland. Their work has benefited many families with young children, and I urge the Chamber today to continue supporting the organisation's endeavours. Thank you. Now I call Lewis MacDonald to be followed by Alex Johnson. Thank you very much, and I too congratulate Alison McInnes for securing this debate and for the opportunity uh, to focus on the challenges of raising a family in an area I know well. My own family moved to Inch when I was 11 years old, and as a pupil at Inch Primary School and then at Inverurie Academy, I became ever more aware as I grew up of the inequality of circumstances and opportunities facing young people in the Geary, as well as of the shared experiences of living in a rural area. Of course, in some respects, the needs of vulnerable families in rural Aberdeenshire are similar to those of vulnerable families across the country. Many are struggling to make ends meet because of low pay or because of cuts in benefits. Many are finding that the public services that they previously relied on are themselves under threat. In that sense, Home Start in Nagiri is dealing with uh, very similar issues to Home Start Aberdeen, which has just re relocated very successfully to the very centre of the city at 1A Afford Place. But what is different in rural Aberdeenshire is the increased sense of isolation which families can feel when they are struggling to cope. And that's why it's vital that a service like this is available there and that their services are delivered by people who understand themselves what that relative isolation can actually mean. Physical isolation has an impact, bringing up a child in a cottage a mile from the nearest paved road and a long way from the nearest bus stop. But that, that is clearly a challenge in itself. But the lack of affordable housing in many of our rural centres uh, sometimes makes such choices for parents unavoidable. Social isolation has an impact as well. Some of the kids in my class at school had to go to exceptional lengths in order to take part in any of the activities that happened out with school hours. That is still the case. And parents often face the same kind of difficulties if they do not have access to a car. And when things get tough, it can be an extra burden not to be able to meet and talk with people facing uh, the same kind of situation. And having Home Start volunteers to turn to can make all the difference. Those volunteers can help and support parents dealing with a wide range of issues. But it's important to recognise that Geary Home Start is only one of several organisations uh, which work together to help. It does not have to operate on its own. The relationship with Aberdeenshire Council is clearly important, especially in identifying vulnerable people who need extra support. Links with health services are important as well. And I'm sure Home Start staff and volunteers across the country will take a very active interest in the future integration of health and social care services and how it impacts uh, on their role as the third sector. And as Alice McInnes reminded us, Home Start operates across the UK and around the world uh, and is part, and, and there is indeed within that, a network of Home Start schemes uh, in the North East itself. There are schemes in Banff, in Buchan, in Kincardine, in Deeside, in Angus, and uh, as well as in Aberdeen and in Dundee. And they all make use of the skills and experience of volunteers to make a difference to people's lives. That, I think, that voluntary input is absolutely critical. I would also make mention of another local voluntary organisation which works with many of the same families. That is Gordon Rural Action, which provides advice on welfare issues and debt problems across the wider Gordon area. 
It provides support to clients facing the threat of eviction or court action for debt recovery and gives the kind of specialised support that backs up the voluntary effort uh, of Geary Home Start volunteers. The work done by Geary Home Start and their partner organisations in the last 20 years has been invaluable and has made a real difference uh, to those who have turned to them for help. Staff and volunteers are to be commended for their efforts and I wish them the best of luck for the next 20 years of supporting families in their local area. Many thanks. I now call Alex Johnson to be followed by Christian Allard. Thank you very much, Deputy Presiding Officer. Uh, can I begin by congratulating Alison McInnes in bringing this motion forward to Parliament for debate today? Uh, and also, before I continue, can I offer the apologies of Nanette Milne, who intended to participate in this debate, but has been called away to deal with other parliamentary business. But I'm delighted to have the opportunity to say a few words in support of Geary Home Start. It is in fact the case that in our rural communities there are often uh, problems that are masked by uh, distance uh, and sometimes in areas like the Geary, strangely, by wealth. Uh, in one of the wealthiest areas anywhere in Scotland, we have to remember that in a broad rural community that it is easy to be left behind and there are many who suffer uh, deprivations within these communities who do so in an almost out of, mind, uh, out of sight and out of mind manner. Communities like that, particularly Geary, uh, are great examples of ones that work well and quite often families and peers work together to ensure that support is provided to families that need it when it's needed. But if you are outside the range of your own family or your own friends, if you find yourself in that position where you lack transport or lack access to transport and begin to feel isolated, starting a family at the same time can be a major challenge and a major difficulty. It's therefore wonderful in my view that organisations like Geary Home Start exist to formalise that traditional family or peer group relationship and take it into a position where it can deliver for those who are in need and who cannot access these uh, support mechanisms through a more traditional means. And as we've heard in this debate already, there are of course a network across the rural northeast of home start organisations that can provide this support. But never let it be said that these organisations uh, are, are to be left on their own. We must remember at every level that they require all our support, encouragement uh, and at government level we need to look closely at the support that can be delivered at all uh, stages. But the vital thing is that no one should feel that they're alone. No one should feel that they are isolated, particularly in a rural environment. And no one should feel, especially when they're beginning the process of building a family and bringing up children, that there is no one there to help. That's why organisations like Geary Home Start are so vital, particularly in areas like Geary. And for that reason, I would like to take this opportunity to offer my sincerest congratulations to Geary Home Start on their 20th anniversary and look forward to another 20 years and more. Many thanks. And I now call Christian Allard. Thank you very much, President Officer. First of all, I would like maybe to point out that it's maybe for people of the North East it's easy, but for other people, or people who just work in the uh, gallery today to, to listen to the debate, but we are in the right debate. It's a debate about Giri, even if some people think it should say Gariok or Geriok or anything else. But that's a good point because it does explain when it's an office, we've got a lot of uh, people coming from abroad. Uh, from a part of Scotland, from a part of the UK, and you know you need to understand the la local language. And you've got to, it's not always that easy thinking that Giri is in fact doesn't spell Giri, but speak differently. So thanks very much for Alison McInnes to bring that, that debate there. And uh, Giri, uh, um, home starting Giri is, is quite important. I, I remember meeting uh, Marie Philippe here in this chamber. Uh, uh, in this parliament uh, uh, some month ago and when we did a presentation of the Home Start UK Scottish Manifesto uh, to the Scottish Parliament and uh, it was very good to see them here and very good to see the network in the region and it's a very strong network. One thing I would say, President Officer, is that uh, that network is getting richer and richer and people work in partnership. In January 2014, I went to Northeast Aberdeenshire um, 
where I saw the, uh, what Homestad was doing for Banff and Buchan for the uh, uh, families in Fraserburgh uh, and across the area. And what's specific about it is that uh, they were opening uh, new facilities with children first. This is very important to see how we can have uh, different organizations who can work together and can support families, can support children uh, and working together. And at that particular point, uh, I was uh, with the local MAP MP, Hayley uh, Hayley Wyford, and what's, what's important to us to understand it's, is that families changes uh, in this area of the Northeast. There are a lot of people coming from Eastern Europe. Uh, there are a lot of languages spoken. Uh, people are working hard. They've not have the time as they could uh, to understand uh, the local environment and to understand the schooling. So that maximum support is so, so important, particularly with parents are separated. Uh, I, I know I, I, I spent 10 years as a, a single parent, and it's so important to have that support when you don't have the connection uh, with the people around. So they are doing a fantastic job. Uh, I just wanted to point out that there is a network all across the region. Home Start in Aberdeen has done very well this year with a new chair, uh, Robert Harrison. Uh, they moved from Maastricht to Alford Place, and they will be the beneficiary charity for the coast to coast bike ride uh, that will be undertaken by the BP staff. Uh, there is uh, other areas, of course. Uh, there is the uh, D-side area, which is so important. Uh, my friend Linda Clark, uh, who's been heading it for a long, long time, and it's all across uh, uh, the D-side valley, uh, which brings a lot of uh, uh, families, uh, a lot of support. Uh, it's, uh, it's a charitable organization, of course, and it assists very vulnerable families in a rich areas, but there are pockets of poverty, and in rural Aberdeenshire, you will find that there are people, young uh, uh, families, and families who will bro uh, families who will be separated, who will look that kind of, of help. You got home start in, in Devon, a bit higher, who will look after Ban Franklin, my Magdorf, Port Soy, Tariff, and they're doing a fantastic job as well for all the area there. And you can all find them on. Facebook now, it's, it's, it's a lot easier. Another one, almost start Kinkadine, which is in Stonehaven, uh, which offers a, a lot of support uh, for the family uh, Could in Kinkadine. Could you draw to close, please? And, and Dundee's, of course, but I uh, talked about that before. So uh, all these parents and all these families get a lot of support all across the region. And I thank again the member to bring it to the attention of the parliament. Thank you very much. I now invite Aileen Campbell to respond to the debate. Minister, you have until two o'clock. Okay, thank you, uh, Presiding Officer, and thank you uh, to everyone who's taken part today who's reinforced that it's Geary, as opposed to what I thought it might have been when it was Gary when I was coming, uh, preparing for this debate. But particularly thank you to Alison McInnes for bringing forward this motion uh, and to uh, everyone else who has taken part in the debate. David Torrance, who spoke about Homestart in Kirkcaldy and across Fife. Lewis MacDonald, who spoke about his own personal reflections of the Geary area and across Aberdeenshire. Alec Johnson speaking about the impressive network of support that can be found right across the North East uh, and Christian Allard as well talking about his uh, similar experiences of voluntary organisations in uh, that region uh, as well. But in particular, may I wish a very happy 20th uh, birthday to Geary Homestart. You've helped thousands of families over the last two decades and it's an honour to mark such a significant milestone here uh, in the Parliament today. And like so many of our dedicated third sector partners, Homestart play a vital role in supporting our most vulnerable families right across Scotland's communities. And there are many fat issues and challenges facing families today, from perinatal health and social exclusion, to isolation and access to services, that social and rural isolation that was pointed out by Lewis MacDonald and Alec Johnson, and also those challenges pointed out by Christian Allard around a separation that families can go through. And I commend Geary Homestart and their colleagues for the work, the transformational work that they do. And I think also in that point around challenges that families face, David uh, Torrance is absolutely right to point out the additional challenges that families are currently facing around the welfare reform uh, agenda and the poverty that is facing far too many families in Scotland. This government has invested over £590,000 from the Third Sector Early Intervention Fund in Homestart UK to deliver services across Scotland and Aberdeenshire. Geary Homestart are members of the Family Solution Plus a Public Social Partnership alongside Children First, Homestart North East Aberdeenshire, NHS Grampian and Aberdeenshire Social Work Department. And through the Early Years Change Fund, we have invested over £8.5 million to create a number of family support public social partnerships like Family Solution Plus. 
Using an assertive outreach approach, these partnerships provide families with intensive support when it matters most, preventing problems before they escalate. Now, the aim of Family Solutions Plus is to improve and safeguard the well-being of those children who are not engaging in or accessing universal provision and also to increase family capacity and resilience. The partnership adopts an early intervention approach focusing on providing intensive support for families when they need it and those practical interventions focus on enhancing family networks to strengthen their own resilience. Again, I thank uh, Giri Homestart and their partners for all of that work that they are doing. Now, the first Home Start scheme in Scotland was established in Perth in 1984 and today across the UK nearly 15,000 home visiting volunteers help more than 29,000 families every year given over 1 million hours of their time and in Scotland more than 2,000 families equating to over 4,000 children are being supported by nearly 1,000 volunteers through local schemes and the organisation now operates in 22 countries and five continents across the world. And Alison also outlined the, the hours that are put in by uh, Geary Homestar and the volunteers, and she included specific mention of Sandra Herbert, Claire Smith, Angela Gowdy and Valerie Tennant for the sterling work that they have done and done for a long time within their own local Homestart group. And the energy and the drive of Homestart's well-trained workers and volunteers is absolutely inspirational. They make a significant contribution, not just in Aberdeenshire, but right across Scotland. And Home Start volunteers support families with young children to deal with whatever life throws at them, supporting parents as they learn to cope, improve their confidence and build better lives for their children. And that approach very much chimes with the aims of our parenting strategy that seeks to raise the profile and value of parenting and to build on the assets and strengths of parents and to build their confidence and sustainable change. Because Alison McInnes was right to mention that when you have a child for the first time, they don't come with a manual. And so, therefore, because it's one of the most important things any one of us can do, it's right that we support people in that important role that they have. And also, as Alison McInnes said, volunteers visit the family's home for a couple of hours every week, tailoring their support to the bespoke needs of the parents and children. They also run family groups, social events, in order to give children the very best possible start in life. And the work that Home Start do with these particularly vulnerable and socially excluded families is very much to be applauded. But today also gives us a chance to recognise the dedicated commitment of those volunteers and also gives us a chance to reflect on what the volunteers also gain from the work that they do. And I was interested to learn that Home Start UK have carried out work that demonstrates the positive benefits of volunteering on the volunteers, including increased confidence, further developed skills and knowledge and increased involvement within their community and we could go on and list more of those benefits but I think those highlights uh, show how the importance of volunteering and the, the, what they get back as volunteers. Today also gives us a chance to recognise the third sector because the third sector is fleet of foot and able to tailor their responses to urgent need. For instance, in preparing for today's debate I took a quick look at the Geary Home Starts Facebook page and one particular post caught my eye. It said, we have a family moving into temporary accommodation who have nothing. If anyone has spare bedding, single beds, bunk beds, chest of drawers, sofa, kettle, crockery, it, it would go to a really good home. And what they got in return was phenomenal. They got offers from across the region, from everything from toys to garden rakes. And it's that kind of example of that very practical help that is so powerful and transformational uh, for what when families need that particular type of help in this uh, type of crisis. Um, all of our policies for children and young people have one overall aim, and that's to improve the outcomes for every child and young person in Scotland. And again, we thank Geary Homestart for striving towards uh, achieving those common uh, ambitions that we hold, because what they do very much chimes with the rest of our policy commitments, whether that's through getting it right for every child, the, the legislative commitment we gave to that through the Act, whether that's through the Early Years Framework, the Early Years Collaborative, which embraces the, the, uh, what the third sector can do within their local communities. And it also chimes in very well with the work that we're wanting to do around developing Scotland's play strategy and also understand that they're doing more and more around mental health. So we have a lot to learn from Home Start. And it's great today that we've been able to recognise the work that they've done on their 20th anniversary. So all I can say is thank you to Homestart and also here's to the next 20 years of success that they're doing in Geary and across Scotland and the UK. So thank you. Thank you, Minister. And that concludes Alison McInnes' members' debate. And we now move to the next item of business. I'll allow a few seconds for members to change places.